In this module, we'll have a quick look at a number of structural timber products that are available for different applications. There are quite a large number of them. And as you can see on this slide, we're going to look in a lot more detail at some of them later on in the course. But we'll start with timber poles. A timber pole is as close to a tree as you can possibly get. It's a piece of a tree trunk used as a structural element. In both of these applications you can see on this slide, they are being used as compression elements. And they're actually carrying a small percentage of their capacity as compression elements. Sawn timber is the most common use of timber. So here we're using rectangular pieces of timber in structural systems. In this slide, at the top left, you can see wall systems. So there's vertical timber elements used as a wall system. On the top right, you can see them used as roof elements. And on the bottom right, they're used as floor elements. In the lower left photo, they're used as part of a velodrome. And in a velodrome, it's important that the floor has the right amount of flexibility so that if a rider comes off, they're not going to injure themselves too badly at all. So that that's a very important use of timber and most velodromes around the world use timber flooring. Timber can be recycled. And this is a photograph of a building that makes extensive use of recycled timber. It's been reclaimed from another building machined and then used again in this particular application. If we're using recycled timber, timber that's been in service for a large number of years, it will have dried out in service and it is hence usually seasoned. But we really do need to check local availability before specifying recycled timber because it does vary from time to time and very much from place to place. If we've got large spans to cover, we need larger depths of section than we can get from sawing timber directly out of trees. And so we're going to use a series of engineered products. And the first of our engineered products that we're looking at is glued laminated timber. Glued laminated timber is made by gluing pieces of sawn timber together to form deep and long sections. They can also be made in a curved shape. And on this slide here you can see curved glued laminated timber but we'll use glued laminated timber for large spanning sections. They are deep beams. Cross laminated timber is panels. They're slab type elements made up of sawn pieces of timber all glued together to form large, deep, rectangular slabs. Laminated veneer lumber is made from thin veneers of timber all glued together with the glue lines vertical that can make deep straight members. And here you can see an industrial building at the top of this slide. And in that industrial building, we're making use of laminated veneer lumber to achieve very long spans in a portal frame system. The lower building also makes use of portal frames, but here the architect has chosen to express the laminated veneer lumber in the visual appearance of that building. Plywood is also made from thin veneers of timber that are laid up into a panel. And these panels have very high in-plane strength. They can be used for wall bracing. They can also be used architecturally. So plywood is a very versatile material. Strand products are made by taking thin slivers of timber and gluing these thin slivers of timber into large elements. If we glue them up into a beam-like element, we call it laminated strand lumber, LSL. If on the other hand we glue it up into a board, then we call it oriented strand board. But the essential thing is that it's made up of small wafers of wood, all glued together. And finally, eye beams. An eye-shaped section works really well structurally. Most of the uh, material is on the outside of the section where it contributes to the Z or the section modulus really well. And we've got very little material adjacent to the neutral axis where we don't need it. So that they're lightweight, they're stiff and they're strong. And we can achieve much longer spans with an eye-shaped section than we can with a rectangular section. So eye-shaped sections are suitable for longer span floor type systems. You can see that we've got a large range 
of structural products made from timber and wood fibre that we can use for a range of different applications. All of them have been classified as according to their structural properties and give reliable structural performance.